Hey everyone and welcome back to Essential Excel. Uh, we've got a real quick tip for you today uh, that we just wanted to share and make available for you. Uh, the tip today is text to columns. Uh, this is uh, a feature that we have available to us in Excel and it's very useful for um, splitting out uh, any information that we have um, that we want separated into multiple columns rather than one. Uh, to give an example of that, um, we have an example in front of us today. So in column A, you'll see we've got a list of names and they're, they're actually surname, comma, first name. And they're all contained within one column. And our example, what we'll use is we want to separate those out so that we can get the surname in a separate column and the first name in a separate column. Uh, without having to do any formulas or try and get any sort of try and get technical with that in any manner, um, and this process we're going to step through can be used for for anything uh, in terms of trying to break data out into more than one column. Um, and what we'll do is we'll just go through this example and show how it works. So in order to do that um, and to split out these two um, pieces of information, so the surname and the first name, what we're going to do is uh, select our column A. And we're going to go up to the top of our screen, and once it reloads, you'll see under the Data tab, uh, we've got this option over here for Data Tools of Text to Columns. And as always, we, we mention this, depending on the version of Excel you're using, um, you, it may be a slightly different layout to what you see, but this is what you want to look for. So Text to Columns, and it should be under the Data Tools uh, category. Once you've located that, if you just click the Text to Columns uh, button, Oh, we've got, uh, we'll do that later, our update. So what we want to do is, it then brings up this pop-up pop for us. So we've got a couple of options here. Uh, so the one we're going to go with today is delimited. delimited. So this is characters such as commas or tabs se um, separate each field. So this is what we're going to use to understand what the um, indicator is for separating um, our data from. Uh, and that'll make more sense if we step through. So if you've got the delimited uh, option selected we can do is then go to next and then what you can see is we have a list of delimited delimiters uh, from which we can choose so these are um, uh, some standard options we have um, what could be separating our text or we want to use to separate our text or we can enter any value of our own so say we didn't have commas we had hashtags we could select the other option and enter a hashtag into here um, if that was applicable to our data. As it's not, um, and we actually got a, uh, a comma, as you can see in column A, we've got all commas, uh, it's an option what's available already to us. So all you need to do is select this comma option. And it's probably before we do that, it's worth noting, this is a little data preview, so you can currently see how our data is. So this is just one column's worth of data, and we've got our uh, first value or surname with a comma and then the, the first name. So we have a comma separation now, so if we just click comma, you can see now that the preview has identified where that comma is and put the divide in place. Uh, so that's all we need to do. And then following on from that, we, well, we can obviously look for our data preview if you want to check just to make sure there's no anomalies or anything's gone wrong. Um, but we're ha quite happy with this. So all we need to do is hit next. And yeah, there's nothing we need to do here. We can see um, that this first column, our surname will remain within uh, column A. And yep, yeah, that's all fine. Oh, don't even need to do that. So we don't need to do anything on this page. And all we need to do is just go to finish. Cool, and you can see what's happened is our first value has retained in column A. And the second value, so what appeared after the comma, has now been moved into the next available column, what is B. And the comma has therefore been removed. So what we are able to do very quickly is enter, change our titles to surname, and first name, and well, we could do a bit of formatting if we want to dial that up as well. Oops, come back there. Do need to do that? Um, format first name, and you can see our data has now been split out into two columns. Uh, obviously, as we walk through that, it took a couple of minutes to go through, but once you get the hang of it, it's uh, a change that you can do it literally in, in seconds, really, and it's just very useful. And as we mentioned, it's uh, you could it doesn't have to be separated by commas. What is particularly useful if you're using a CSV format file, but it can be any value available to us as standard options, or you can enter your own, uh, as we mentioned with that example of using hashtags.
So if you didn't already know about that function, we hope that has uh, taught you something new, uh, something that's going to be very useful as well that you can use day to day and to help make this particular task a lot quicker and easier. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to this video. Um, and as always, any questions, do drop us a comment below or reach out to us at Facebook. And we'll see you really soon. Thanks.